why are fathers sending their hot daughters to college? I was driving through a college campus the other day and saw freshman girls being moved into their dorms by their moms and dads. Every girl is in a tight crop top and booty shorts and their parents are just following them around with big old smiles on their faces as if they have no clue what is about to happen to that girl for four years. If you're her dad, I know you didn't raise this girl to be a but you're about to leave her unsupervised to drink irresponsibly with young, immature boys around her. How in the world can you justify spending 50, 100, sometimes $200,000 for your daughter to just get for four years. How can you justify that? You're supposed to be leading your family and keeping your daughter safe. So much of serial dating and irresponsible sex in our society stems from normalizing this college experience. And until parents start deciding to put an end to it, it's never going to stop and your child is going to pay the long-term consequences. I know what you're thinking though. Not my daughter. My daughter was raised differently. Look up fundamental attribution error and get back to me. You may have done everything you can, but alcohol and peer pressure have other things in mind. So just because you saw a group of girls in crop tops going to college, that is supposed to represent all women who go to college? I'm pretty sure most women go to college or university to actually get a degree and chase their dreams. If some of them happen to have sex in the process, as long as it's consensual, so what? And it takes two to tangle. Women doing something quote unquote sexually immoral means men are also doing the same thing. I don't notice anyone criticizing men who have sex and get drunk in college. So should we prevent people's sons from going to college for that reason as well? And you are acting like women, even if they were raised well, can't have self-discipline to not drink, party, or sleep around. And they must be controlled and restricted from going to certain places to have good morals and be safe like some kind of pet. First of all, if your method of keeping a woman safe is by restricting what she can do instead of changing her surroundings, you are blaming the victim and you are having the same mindset of those Sharia law countries. Secondly, don't act like a woman can't make good choices on her own and they don't have the ability to not succumb to peer pressure and must have some authority looking after her 24-7 because all women are always going to be bad people when given the chance, right? It seems like you have such a low view of your own kind and think all women are the same and can't be their own person and make their own choices. If a woman is predisposed to drinking and sleeping around, it doesn't matter whether or not she goes to college. If a woman is raised well, had good grades in high school, and is encouraged to stay away from alcohol, who are you to say that she shouldn't chase her dreams of becoming a doctor just because you saw a minority of post-high school women who acted trashy? By the way, if all else fails, why don't we just segregate men and women? Instead of being one-sided and blaming and restricting the women, why don't we just put men and women in different colleges and universities so we will never ever again have the problem of the sexual immorality you are so concerned about.